Hello, Kiko. Hello. All right, I can hear you now. All right, so I think there's some problem in in Zoom a while ago, so I have to restart it. Okay, how are you today, Akiko? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine too. Well, I just saw your homework and your mom sent it to me. Yeah. So your homework is that I gave you is I want you to record the video of yourself explaining what kind of weather do you like, right? Yes. Okay, very good. Well, your answer is a sunny weather because you can go out and play with your friends. Is that your answer? Yes. Okay. All right. So, uh, well, anyway, Akiko, for today or for tonight, we're going to have a few activities to do okay so the first activity is listening activity wait for me because it's very hot okay so are you ready now kiko yes all right let's begin All right, now, Kiko, so this is part number one of listening activity. This is listen and draw lines. There is one example. All right. All right, so now, Kiko, you just have to listen first, and then you have to draw a line on your answer, okay? Okay. Part one. Look at part one. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, is Mary here? Yes, she's listening to a CD. Is she wearing a red skirt? Yes, that's Mary. She loves music. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Where's Tom? He's drawing a picture on the board. There are two boys drawing. Which one is Tom? He's drawing a car. Oh, yes. I can see him now. Two. Where's Jane? She's playing with a toy. Is she playing with a toy plane? No, she's playing with a bus. Oh, yes, I can see her. Hello, Hank. Three. Oh. <clears throat> Hello. I'm looking for Paul. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today, Hank? What's he wearing today? One. Where's Tom? He's drawing a picture on the board. There are two boys drawing. Which one is Tom? He's drawing a car. Oh, yes. I can see him now. Two. Where's Jane? She's playing with a toy. Is she playing with a toy plane? No, she's playing with a bus. Oh, yes, I can see her. Three. I'm looking for Paul. Can you see him? What's he wearing today? Black trousers, I think. Oh, yes. He's standing at the board. I see. He's drawing a house. Four. Look at Anna. Where is she? 
She's standing by the door. Is she wearing a red T-shirt? Yes, she is. And she's got a toy plane. Five. Can you see Pat? Yes, I can. She's working. What's she doing? She's working at the computer. Oh, yes. She likes that. Now listen to part one again. One. All right, so now let's check your answers. Akiko, number one, can you read it, please? Tom and the boy drawing a car on the board. Jane and the girl playing with a toy bus. Okay. Paul and the boy drawing a house on the board. Mm -hmm. Anna and the girl holding a toy plane. Pat and the girl sitting in front of the computer. Okay, very good. Very good, Akiko. So you've got a perfect score off. Okay, wait a minute. I will, I'm counting. One, two, three, four. And how about the other one? Okay, it's back. Yeah. So five points for you. All right, next one, Akiko. So now this is part number two. So all you have to do is to um, listen again to the details and then you have to tell me or write the answer here on the blank, all right? Okay. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, Mary. Can I ask you some questions? All right. What's your family name? Do you mean Mary? No, your second name. Oh, that's Smith. Is that S-M-I-T-H? Yes. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. One. And how old are you, Mary? I'm nine. It was my birthday last week. Did you have a party? Yes, it was good. Two. Now, what about your hair? My hair? Yes, what colour is it? It's blonde. Three. And what about your eyes? Do you need to know the colour of my eyes? Yes, please. They're blue. You've got very beautiful eyes, Mary. Thank you. Four. Now some questions about your family. Is that OK? Yes, it's OK. Have you got any brothers? Yes, I've got three brothers. Two are older than me and one is younger. That's a big family. I like big families. Five. What about sisters? How many sisters have you got? Four. There are a lot of people in our house. Now listen to part two again. All right, so let's check now. The name is Mary Smith. How old is she, Akiko? Is, she is nine. And then the hair color is? It's blonde. Eye color? Blue. How many brothers? Three. And how many sisters? Four. All right, very good, Akiko. 
All right, next one, Akiko. So in this activity, you have to listen first and answer the following question. So what did Paul do last week? Okay, let's listen. Part three. Look at the pictures. What did Paul do last week? Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, Paul. Did you have a good week? Yes, Grandma. I played a lot of sport. What did you do on Tuesday? On Tuesday, I played hockey at school. Great! Can you see the line from the word Tuesday? On Tuesday, Paul played hockey at school. Now you listen and draw lines. 1. What did you do on Thursday? It rained that day. I watched basketball on Thursday. At school? No, I didn't go to school that day. I watched it on TV with Dad. It was an exciting game. Two. I sometimes go swimming on Friday, but not last week. It was my friend's birthday. Oh, what did you do? We went to the cinema to see a film about someone who lived on an island. Hmm. Three. And what did you do on Wednesday? I went to the pool. I was there all afternoon. Was it nice and sunny there? Yes. It was a very hot day. It was great there. Four. And on Saturday, it was basketball again. At school? With all my friends, yes. Was it a good game? Yes, it was. We all enjoyed it. Five. What did you do on Sunday? I read a book that Dad gave me on my birthday. What was it about? All about different sports. I want to be a sports teacher one day, Grandma. Great idea! Now listen to part three again. Okay, let's check now. Thursday is correct. Friday, Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. All your answers are correct. Good job. All right, next one, Akiko. So in this activity, all you have to do is listen and tick the box of your correct answers. Okay, Akiko? Okay. All right, let's do it. Part four. Look at the pictures. Listen and look. There is one example. Where is Pat's dad going? Is that your father walking to the bus stop, Pat? Yes, it is, Sam. Where's he going? He's going to town for Mum. Is he going to the supermarket? No, I went there yesterday. And Mum's going to the library this afternoon. Oh, I know. He's going to the bank. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. 1. Which one is Pat's mother? Is your mother here, Pat? Yes, she's in the garden with my aunts. Has your mother got straight hair? No, her hair is curly. Oh, is she the one in the red dress? No, she's wearing trousers today. 2. What does Pat want to buy? Where are you going to go now, Pat? I'm going shopping. What do you want to buy? 
It's my birthday on Sunday and I want something new to wear at my party. Do you want some new trousers? No, I like a skirt because my mum gave me a beautiful blue sweater. Okay, so now let's check. Which one is Pat's mother? It's letter C. What does Pat want to buy? It's letter C also. Very good, Akiko. Next one, number three. What was the weather like here yesterday? We went to the mountains yesterday and it rained. What was the weather like here, Pat? It was a beautiful day. Was it sunny? It was sunny. It wasn't cloudy at all. Four. Where's Peter? Where's your brother, Pat? Peter? I think he's playing outside. Is he in the garden? No, he isn't. He isn't on the balcony. I know. He went to the playground with his friends. Five. What will they take on the picnic? What do you want to eat on our picnic tomorrow, Pat? Something we can eat with our hands. What about sandwiches? No, we always take sandwiches. Can we take burgers? I don't like cold burgers. Shall we take sausages? OK. All right, number three, what was the weather like yesterday? It's that there... Oh, you don't have an answer here, Kiko? Yes. All right, it's that there A, number four. Where's Peter, letter C? And what will they take on the picnic? It's that there B. So you have one mistake. You got a total of four points. All right. Anyway, Akiko, so in the last part, all you have to do is to listen and color the pictures, okay? Okay. Part five. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Can you see the boy with the kite? Yes. I can see him. Well, colour the kite blue. The kite? That's right. Can you see the blue kite? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and draw. One. There are two men running in the park. Can you see them? Yes, a thin man and a fat man. I want you to colour their t-shirts. What colour? Colour the fat man's t-shirt red and the thin man's yellow. OK. Colour the fat man's t-shirt red and the thin man yellow. Two. Now I want you to draw something. The thin man is yellow. Good. What shall I draw? Can you draw a duck? Yes, I can. <laughs> Good. Well, draw a duck swimming in the water. OK. Draw a duck swimming into the water. Three. Now you can colour again. Good. Can you see the two cars? Yes. Shall I colour the small car or the big car? Colour the smaller one, green. OK. 
I like that colour. Four. Now you can draw something again. Good. What about the weather? It's a cold day, so shall I draw a big cloud? Yes. Draw a big cloud above the two men and colour it black. Draw a big cloud on top of the man and color it black. Five. Now I want you to color one more thing. Good. What shall I color? The dog, please. Five. Now I want you to colour one more thing. Good. What shall I colour? The dog, please. Which one? Colour the biggest dog brown. There you are. That's very good. Now listen to part five again. One. Okay, let's see. Can you read the answer, Sakiko? Call on the fat man's teacher. T-shirt red and the thin man's T-shirt yellow. Mm -hmm. Draw Next. a duck swimming in the water. Color the smaller car green. Draw a big black crown above the two men. Color the biggest dog. Okay, it's brown. Okay, very good, Akiko. So you got five points here in this activity. Okay. All right, next one, Akiko. Let's proceed to the next batch of activity. All right, Akiko, this is part number one. So look and read, choose the correct words and write them on the lines. Example, there is the biggest, this is the biggest animal in the world. Answer is a whale. Okay, number one, Akiko. You can listen to music with these. You can listen to music with these. CDs, number two. We can watch these at home at the weekend. Video, number three. On cold days, it is good to have hot valve of 
What is it? Hot ball of this. Soup, number four. People are afraid of this animal which live in the sea. A shark, number five. Some people drink this hot with milk and sugar. Coffee, last one. But put puddle and cheese between bread and you have one of these. A sandwich. Okay, very good, Akiko. So you got six points here in this activity. All right, next one, Akiko. I want you to look at the picture and then tell me if it's a yes or a no. So example, the man at the table is wearing glasses. It's yes. The little, the little girl is carrying a dog. Answer is no. All right, number one, Akiko. Say if it's a yes or no. The woman between the bookcase is wearing a red dress. The cat under the table is looking at the boy. One of the boys is playing with the robot. The woman at the table is putting on her jacket. It's no. Next one. It's a beautiful sunny day. One of the women has got a brown curly hair. Okay, so you got one mistake here, Kiko, and that is number four because the girl is not wearing her jacket. So you got five points here. All right, next one, Kiko. All right, let's read the sentences. And choose the best answer. So, example, hello, Sally, how are you? Answer is letter A. I'm very well, thanks. Next one, question number one, Akiko. What did you do on your birthday? I had a party at home. Very good. I had a party at home. Okay, next one, Akiko. Did you have a cake? Did Did you have a cake? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. How many friends came? I don't know. I don't know. Have you got any photos of the party? Yes, they are here. This one's very good.
Yes, I like it. Oh, look, the lesson is starting. Oh, I must go. Wait a minute. Did you have a wrong answer? No, you got a perfect score of six points. All right, so next one, Akiko. This is part number four. So you have to read a story and then choose your answer from the pictures here on the screen. So, all right, let's begin, Akiko. Last weekend, I went to count countryside. My father drove the car onto some glass between two trees. We all go out and Go out and picnic and walk. Walk to a field there. Continue. I took a picture of some funny black and white sheep. Beautiful, I love farm animals. Then my father showed that, look behind you, so I did. I saw a big house. It was very near to me. I was afraid and ran to the river and jumped at it in. My parents lodged the horse doesn't want to hurt you. It's a nice horse. My mom said your clothes are wet now. Take this towel. And here, give this nice green apple to the horse. The horse eat. Eat it. I was hungry too, and I enjoy our. Picnic by the river. We had three different salads, my favorite cheese, and some watermelon. Okay, so this is wrong. One, two, three, four, five. Five points for you, Kiko. Okay, now what do you think is the best name for that story? Walking on the sand, the little swimming pool, the horse at the river. What is your answer? Is the horse at the river? The horse at the river. Very good. All right, next one, Akiko. Now you have to read a story here and you have to um, find out the correct answers on the blank. So 
Example, Daisy is 10. Daisy's grandmother's house is in a small village that's near the sea. Okay, start reading the story now, Akiko. My name's Daisy and I'm 10. Last holiday, I wanted to see my grandma. She lived in a small village by the sea. It like I like it there because I can swim and play on the beach. I went to when I went to grandma's by bus. First, I went with my mother to the bus stop at the end of our street. I count the numbers three bus to the big bus station. Okay, so number one, Akiko. This he likes to Swim and play on the beach. Okay, next one. Daisy got on a bus at the end of her. Street. Street. The number three bus one to the Big bus station. Okay, so that's three points. All right, next one, Akiko. Then I have to catch another bus, the number 20. But I was hungry. I went to a shop first to buy a chicken sandwich and some lemonade. When I came out, I saw the bus start. I ran and jumped on it. I sat next to an old woman who talked a lot. It was very hot and I want to sleep. Sheep. When I woke up, I wasn't in my grandmother, grandmother's village. I was in a big town. Okay, so number four, they see, they see, both a sandwich to eat because she was hungry. Sandwich number five. The person next to Dicey on the beast was an a woman. An old woman. Daisy slept because it's what?
because why? Because it's what? Because it was blank on the bus. What do you think? This is that because it was. Because it was. This is sleep, not sheep. Sleep on the bus. This is slept because it was hot, not slept. Okay, next one. When did she wake up? The bus was in. The bus was in. In a big town. All right, that's correct. Four points for, I don't know, three. Three points for you. Well, anyway, Akiko, um, this will be all for tonight. So let's continue this one again tomorrow on our class, okay? Okay. All right. Goodbye, Kiko. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.